so you might be asking me, what does all this have to do with leaf color and how leaves change? Well, deciduous trees or trees that lose their leaves in the winter go through this whole process where their leaf color changes based on the pigments that are available. Everyone knows that leaves are nice and green in the summer and that's from chlorophyll. The photosynthetic process of plants uses that chlorophyll to make energy for the plants to use. Well, as the days grow shorter and the sunlight grows shorter, the plants start to create what's called an abscission layer between the leaf and the tree and it cuts off juices to the plant. It cuts off the juices to each individual leaf. And as that happens, they begin to get dried and cracked and start to fall off the tree. The first things to go are the chlorophyll in the chloroplast for making photosynthetic materials. So as those colors start to disappear from the leaf, underneath you're going to start seeing the anthocyanins, which are the purples and pinks, or you might see carotenoids, which are yellow and orange, which typically you would see like in a carrot, you would see that mostly. But in these leaves, you're starting to see them. So when fall comes around, you start seeing some beautiful yellows and oranges and purple leaves. Well, that has all based to do with the pigments that are involved in the leaf. And it also has to do with how some plants will grow different colors based on the soil pH that they're in. Depending on the soil pH, you will see a different color of plant. And it has to do with how they respond to a change in pH, just like our last lab showed us.